Hi YouTube, me Tiff for Wilderness and welcome to another unboxing video. Um, <laughs> yeah, another parcel has arrived and uh, I'd just like to say that uh, I'm actually recording this video on Tuesday the 7th of July, but I will be setting this for a scheduled upload on Wednesday the 15th. So just to let you know when I got this parcel. Um, right, so at the beginning of the month, um, I uh, well, I'd heard this rumor that uh, Kapow was going to be getting their stock of uh, um, Earthrise Titan class Scorponok in, you know, getting them in stock before the uh, the end of June, and um, so I, I had a look on there, and of course they were all sold out. Of uh, you no, know, their Scorponok pre-order was all sold out. So I had a look around and found that you know in demand still had their pre-order running. So on the first of the month, uh, I placed a pre-order with in demand, and seven days later, a rather large box has turned up. Ah. So, can you tell what it is? <laughs> pretty obvious from what it's got on the actual. Uh, let's get back a bit. Pretty obvious from what it actually says on the uh, the side of the box. So yeah, this package arrived today. Um, like I said, I, I, I said I was going to be splashing out on some uh, some big expensive bots this month, and uh, this was one of them. And uh, fortunately, it's come in. So uh, let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? So just uh, cut the sides, and then. across the top we've got uh, an in-demand flyer in there just to prove I got it from in-demand some racket wrapping cardboard so what's in the box wilderness pretty obvious really oh that's a heavy boy there we go earth rise Scorponok. Now, um, obviously, last couple of years, you know, I've been going for the the Titan class figures. Um, haven't got Metroplex um, because Metroplex came out before I sort of started getting into them. But I've got Triptychon, Fort Max, and Omega Supreme. And then they said they were doing Scorponok, and I thought, you know what, I haven't got a, a G1 style Scorponok in my collection. Um, the only Scorponox I've got, I think he's got the Energon one, and uh, I've got the RID, Transformers RID Scorponox, but I haven't actually got, you know, a big old green and purple Scorpion dude. Um, they said they was doing a Titan class of it, and I uh, thought, yeah, sure, why not? Usually this sort of thing I would pick up, at, you know, it'd be my major sort of purchase at, uh, you know, the, uh, the August convention of uh, TF Nation. Um, but obviously, you know, TF Nation has been cancelled this year due to the COVID crisis, unfortunately. So uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to get hold of it by other means. And uh, I heard rumours that, you know, it was coming out, you know, sort of late June, early July. And uh, so I decided to make a play on it. And uh, I finally got it. Oh, this is a big heavy box. <sighs> Obviously, yeah, he does the city mode, the scorpion mode, and there's got to, got the the headmaster gimmicks. So yeah, pretty cool figure. It's supposed to be a heavily reworked version of the Omega Supreme mold. And I've actually seen people doing the the Omega Supreme mold. You can actually fold it up to look like Scorponok. So so that sort of gives you an idea of how much they've used on this uh, of this mold. So yeah, got him. Um, now, is this the swan song of the Titan class, I ask you? Because I've heard rumours that this is the last time, or the last Titan figure that uh, Hasbro is going to do. They're going to retire the Titan class after this. Um, you've got to ask yourself, is there any more Titans that they, they need to do? Because they've done all the main ones. Um, I mean, obviously a black repaint of this as uh, Black Zarak would, would you know, found, something that fans would really like to see. Uh, Metro Titan, you know, a, a repaint and remould of... Um, um, you know, uh, Metroplex as Metro Titan. We've already had a Grand Maximus. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I mean, there are other Titan figures in the fiction that they could do figures of, but is it really worth it? 
Um, I don't know, but I heard a rumour that perhaps this was going to be the last Titan class. I'll have to wait and see, but uh, that's something that uh, is definitely on the cards. So, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be the only purchase I get this month. I mean, obviously I've got my, my other figure I unboxed, which you've already seen, which was, uh, you know, Siege, well, um, not Siege, um, Earthrise Commander class um, uh, Skylinks. Uh, I have ordered some uh, some Kate some like mini KTRTs, which I'm hoping will arrive before the end of the month. But I'll have to wait and see on that. And I'm still looking around for uh, a Mastermind Creations Moors. You know, <laughs> I really want to get hold of him. So I don't know if at this point what else I I, I could uh, make a play on. I, I've still got you know quite a bit of budget left, um, but we'll have to wait and see. So the box is empty. I've been TFR Wilderness and uh, I'll catch you next time. Ta-da!